Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Coding Demos. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can do three types of customizations to your uh, clock attempt. So what is a clock attempt? I did a tutorial a while back that shows you how you can create an alarm from within the app using one of Android's attempt called Alarm Clock. So if you guys are new to this, I recommend you to watch the video I, that I did a while ago that will show you how you can set that up. So the video is is this with a title as you can see as you can see here. So just search for that title in the in the channel and don't worry, I'll link this video in the description of this video below so you can have an easy access to that. And today I'm gonna show you three types of customiz customization that you can do to the uh, to the alarm. And the first thing is, now let's say you want to you want to trigger the alarm to be uh, you want the alarm to be triggered on specific days of the week, because right now the alarm gets triggered based on the time that you set. But if you decide that you want to the you want the alarm to be triggered on uh, repeatedly, meaning that you want it to trigger on let's say 10 a.m. In this following days of the week you can do that and let me show you how you can do it so let's open up Android studio I have it right here this is the same uh, code that I uh, I took from the video that I did in, in the, the code that was shown in this video here this is same code that I have inside this uh, Android studio project so what I'm going to do here is inside let me just close this and close the side just to give you guys a room to have a view a full view all right so here inside the inside the set alarm dot set on click listener what we can do here we go uh, first thing is before before the set uh, the set on click listener you need to create an array list so the array list will be used to include the days that you want the alarm to be triggered so that will be array, uh, array list, and that would be of a type integer. And let me, I'll let you, I'll explain to you why I choose integer. And for this array list, I'm going to name it, uh, let's say, days of of week. And this will be new array list. All right, now. Why we why we chose integer because the days that we need to add will be a type of calendar, and to do that we'll do days of the week and that's the name of the array list dot add. We're adding an item inside the array list, so here we can just do, for example, if you set this array list as string and then you include it here between the double quotes. Monday or Tuesday and so on you can do that because that will not work when you later use that inside the put extra here That's why you do it as an integer and the second thing is Because we've set it as an integer say you can see here it says add integer, but we've added string so remove this uh, Monday here and to add the day Monday inside the uh, the array list will do calendar that's the one calendar dot and then this will give you the name of the days of the week so we, we need to set this alarm to be uh, triggered or repeatedly triggered on Monday and then we need to let me just duplicate this a few times so we need this alarm to be triggered on Monday uh, Wednesday and Friday so three days of the week this alarm will be triggered. Now for the time, we will set the time later when the user launch the app. Now to use this days of the week inside the attempt here, what we can do is, let me just uh, duplicate this line here and change the extra message to days, extra days. And for the value here, remove this uh, string value and replace that with days of the week. All right, so we've created this array list, and we are calling that inside this uh, uh, put extra. 
So whenever the user chooses a time for the alarm, it will be set as repeated on these following days, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. To do that, let's run the app and let me show you how it looks like in the emulator. All right, so the build is complete. So what we can do is, I'm going to choose a time, so tap on the set time, and the time would be, uh, let's do 11.20 p.m., and then tap OK. So we have the time set. Next, you tap on the set alarm, and this will be directed to the clock app, and you got this uh, toast message. So you have the time, it's 11.20 p.m., that's the time that the alarm will be triggered. Now you can see here at the bottom, we have this checkbox checked, and that is the repeat. So you want this uh, alarm to be to be triggered repeatedly on these following days. And the days that you've set are being highlighted, as you can see here. So we have one day that's highlighted, Wednesday and Friday. So it's repeated on this time on these following days. That's the first customization that you can do for the clock app. The second thing is, now when you've run the app and you've set the, uh, the alarm, when the alarm gets triggered on your device, you felt the phone vibrates, right? Let's say you, did, you don't want the phone to vibrate when the alarm gets triggered. You can turn that off as well. To do that, go back to the code and inside the onClick method here, we're going to use another uh, type of uh, put extra and that would be, uh, just remove this, days and then we'll put extra and that would be vibrate. So extra vibrate, this takes boolean value, true or false. By default, it is set to true, which means the phone will vibrate when the alarm gets triggered. We don't want that, you call false. And right now I can't test because I'm using the emulator, but you can run the code and you can try for yourself. The phone will not vibrate when the alarm gets triggered. That's the second customization. Now we go to the third one, and that is, you can see, if you notice that when we set the alarm, the user is actually directed to the clock app here. So let's say you want to modify this flow, whereby you don't want the user to leave the app. You don't want the user to leave your app. What you want is, the user choose a time, and then tap on the set alarm, and that's it. And this is all done within the app, within your app. The user will not will not be directed to the clock. If you want that kind of flow, you can do that as well. So go back to the onClick method here, and then let me just duplicate this line, but change the extra vibrate to, there's something called skip UI, that's the one. So when you call skip UI, and then you pass here as true, that means I don't want, what it means is I don't want my user when they set up the alarm to be directed to the clock app. I want them to be, uh, I want them to stay within my app. That's what it means by skip UI. Now let me show you that, let me run the app. Let's see how it looks like in the emulator. All right, so build is complete. Let's set the time. And that will be 11, uh, let's say, yeah, 11, 21 p.m. And you tap on set alarm. So you can see that. It says alarm set for two days, that's fine, but the user was not directed to the to the clock app that that what used to happen previously. Why? Because we've set the uh, this parameter here, extra skip UI, which allows the user to set the alarm and it's all done within the app without let without them leaving it and going directly to the clock app. That's the the third customization. Now another another type of customization that you can do and that is to set a specific uh, ringtone. I didn't manage to get it to work. I, I don't know what was the issue actually. There is a way to do it but it didn't work with me. There's an extra called uh, ringtone and this basically uh, allows you to set a specific uh, sound to for the alarm to be triggered i tried to play around with this try to get it work but it didn't so if you guys manage to get it to work please please 
share the solution in the comment section below I would love to uh, see the solution and I would I would love to learn, learn it from you guys and I think this is these are the uh, the common kind of customizations that you can do with the clock app but if you tried something new and you want to share with me uh, go ahead I would love to learn it from you guys and this is basically it for this tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial thank you so much for watching and happy coding